Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Mrs. Green Thumb and hello MT Cole Forge. Hey MT. I don't know how long I'm going to last. Uh, maybe it's because it's busy this afternoon that it says I have an error. YouTube is not receiving enough data. It's been doing really good and now I come on at one o'clock. The traffic must be extremely busy on YouTube. So I'm going to get out of it, get out to it before it hits me off and gets off. Um, it might hit me off really soon, but anyways, nonetheless, Hey, Mish, good afternoon. All right, guys, I'm just going to switch it over because before I lose track, I just want to say welcome to the world, my newest butterflies, Christine and Larry. So we have Bruce, Nia, Peyton, Josh, Gary, Christine, and Larry, and Marigold, who has deformed wings, and she's staying with me until, well, she has a good life. I, I'm going to take her out every day and feeding her because she can't fly. And I'm going to show you. Here's the update today. Hopefully, we won't get booted off, so I'm going fast here i just filmed this um right. congrats yeah thanks so i filmed this is first i want to show you Stages. what it looks like so you have a a, a newly okay. one um yeah. one's an older butterfly One, crystal it one's forming into a crystalite Three. you can see that's what it looks like in here and then the next one oh, is heading to a spot so it can be formed so it kind of does this thing it connects curls it connects stages, curls hangs right. down and then when it's ready, could take about a day or so. so then it'll, it'll do that that liquid thing to here. turn it into a chrysalis. And I have more on the bottom, as you can see, eating away, no, pretty right happy now. down there. So I have more butterflies I coming. Be, I'm scrolling they're around just, my stuff uh, right now. you know, Easy. I have to wait in between right times before they're okay, born. So. so this is we had two today, and there it is. I'm bringing you right up to them right now. And I'm going to show you. Miracle's the one on the bottom. She has the wings that can't go anywhere, so I have to keep her, but. Um, I'm bringing her outside and letting her try to fly, but she can't fly that good. But that's uh, Marigold, so we didn't name her after anybody because I can't release her. But there's Christine and Larry, just born today, one, then the next. So that's kind of what I'm coming here for. Like I said, uh, as soon as they're born, I come back and I'll do it. As soon as their new one's coming out, um, I'll come. So see, I, was, I filmed this for a little bit so you could really see her wings are really bad shape. But... Um, I kind of feed her. I put her to flowers. I bring her outside. It's she's not as bad as the first year, the first one I had that couldn't really fly at all. She can actually fly, and then um, thanks. Those are my flowers. Uh, most of them are all hand grown by me. Yep. Well, I'd say all of them actually. I pick them in the garden, so they're all. Uh, uh, I have a couple flowers I want to do next year, too. I'm excited about the flower part, Misha. I've been collecting seeds right. and. Um, I'm excited because I know that there's certain flowers that go really well for me, so I'm going to name them that come back. Marigold, yeah. French marigold. One, I've got a two, new cracker barrel, mar three. cracker jack marigold. I have high Liam. Oh, we're going to get that. See, and actually, that's there. a good thing. I shake the, the little bit. I shake the little cage a bit because it there's tells it that it spread. says, "Okay, I better check to make sure I'm sealed at the top. See, I don't want to fall off." off. So it'll okay, go so back up and make here. sure it's sealed. So by shaking it, like when I open the zipper, right it's actually good for it. It kind no, of like right it makes it reinforce that the chrysalis stays it's up there. Around to my stuff um, right now. And look at little piglet. You can see right the, there. Look at them chomping okay, away. So. I'm hungry. I'm not ready to go to be a butterfly. I'm just hungry, hungry as ever. So, yep. So there you go. You got Marigold and you got Christine and Larry. I still have, uh, I'm still trying to get more. But I'll be stopping soon. So I have more to go with butterflies. And I have baby yeah. ones that are not, they're not medium size. They're still small. But I have another six in my house plus these ones. So there you go. And I have um, three more to name. And after that, then I'm naming them after you guys. Uh, <laughs> well, they are. They become piglets. They eat little pigs. But then these, they're escape artists. I am telling you, I've learned a lot this year from them. You got, you got piglets you got escape artists you got ones that are mean they kind of try to knock they said no i like this spot you're not going to stay on my spot and they're going to like bug the heck out of the chrysalids there or one forming and they seem to want to kick them out of their spot it's like i've seen that like two times we had to watch my i kept putting them over somewhere else leave them alone leave them alone and that, that, I, that's what i do i literally take them off the netting and move right. them to another spot so they leave a yeah. crystal little alone because they'll go one, around two, right here that one that's bending three. they'll go after one that's getting ready to crystal it and they'll go no you can't be there i want that spot and they kind of 
get mean and try to push them out. So I'm, I'm watching that. Look at this I'm watching my little bad boys. Bad boys, bad boy. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? Hey. And you get you can name me after a bully. I, maybe I will. I'll have no, to right pick a bully now. on. You, you can have a bully one, Mish. I don't want to be like, like, um, around to my stuff right now. Anyways, Eric, it? sorry. Right I want to say, hey, Eric. Okay, How you doing, Eric? Eric, we got MT Cole Forge, which I'm so happy to see. I, I was worried about him. I haven't seen you, MT. Not that I care about you coming to, always to my channel. I was just, when I don't hear from you, I wonder if you're okay. So it's fantastic to hear from MT Cole Forge Gaming. Oh, we got Leanne out there. We got Misha. Misha, we know when I do live streams earlier, you're not there because you're not awake yet. So um, this is one's at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and you are here celebrating with me. And I went to Eric and went... Oh, I went to Erie and went gem hunting on the beach for a few. That's great. That's where you've been. That is great. Did you find any gems? I went to Erie, went gem hunting on the beach for a few weeks. Did you find any gems? That's what I want to know. I know you like doing that. I'd like to find some gems too. It'd be perfect for some crafts that I like to do. So anyways, I'm just going to... This is the one for today. Um... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and move things around, but I might get booted off. I just wanted to make sure that I at least introduced Christine and Larry today, the new butterflies. And now if I move around and I disappear, I apologize. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying, but my OBS is kind of fragile right now, and it might kick me off. So I'm just warning you, if this becomes a short live, it's not my fault. Um, it's oh, acting up today poster. really badly. I can see it's still bad, and it hasn't been like that. So, um, and thank you for then. those of you who don't attend my live streaming and you rewatch them. A big shout out to you or any yeah, watching any of the stuff or comments to any of my videos. Uh, get that I get back right to you, right and I thank you very much for that. No, right now. Oh, cool! No, we'll have to see them. That sounds great. My stuff right now. Sounds right lovely. Right I think. Uh, okay, I think that would be good. I'm, you're gonna have to take me. I'm gonna have to go get some go gem hunting. That'd be fun. All right, so um, I'm just going to show you something. Uh, will I get a chance as long as I, I want to show all this on this live stream? That it just shows the um, those of you, and it's not, I know there's not many here, and YouTube has a bad habit of not putting it out, so you won't see me live streaming if I do too many in the week. I already get that. So I apologize if not a lot of people here, but that's just the way it is with YouTube. So anyways, this is the migration period map I wanted to show you. Um, so you get it where they migrate and if you can possibly grow milkweed within the area of where they migrate common milkweed I'm going to stress that comment that would be wonderful Um, yeah make a video of them that would be cool and we have this is another video this is where Gary was born that should be Josh and Gary so I have Josh and Gary um, I don't know what oh no I got a different one here it says Gary Maybe Gary was separate. I don't know. And then I got Peyton and Josh were together. Okay. And oh, I released them. Here we go. Did I show you this one? I'm releasing them right here. They get released. They get, I had to bring them back in, and then they and then they got ready. When I brought them back in, they said, oh, no, we're not going. So I waited for a little bit, and then when I took them out the second time, they were ready. They just flew off. So all of them, I'm not keeping them long. I'm keeping them probably the next day one of them flew the same day it was in good shape and i said well you're ready to go go for it so i get get them out as soon as i can uh, i'll wait normally a day and i like release them in the morning so they have a chance if they're born way early in the morning and and they're pretty uh, you know i can see their wings are really dried out and they're doing really well i'll, I'll release them that day otherwise they wait for the next morning to get released um, yeah, just so we're, I know you're all talking with each other. Yeah, I figured my channel might cause questions, but that's a whole other story. Ah, oh, be free, little butterflies. I have one I didn't upload. I wanted to show you a really good one, but again, like it might, oh, that's my original. Hang on a minute. Let's go past that. Um, there's Peyton. There, we got them all nice. I got them all in order here. So I put kind of like common, look at how black that was, common. Where they start out, I like doing this though, and then it goes to phase two. They're they're hot, they're eggs. I get them little babies or eggs. They go into containers separated by size, so they don't you know have an accident and eat each other by eating the milkweed. They don't go out of their way. They're not cannibalistic. They're just it is what it is. They're just munching down and they don't know what they're doing here. And these most of these are all born. They're all gone. These crystallites. These ones were the original nine, and I think I only have one or two left. 
wait a minute, I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, one left of the original nine. And now, now this is the ones I'm showing you now are the new ones. They're a new set coming. So they're going to take 10 to 11 days or maybe longer. I'm going to keep an eye on it, though. Because one of them went to chrysalids on the second, which was yesterday. Two of them did. Two of them chrysalided yesterday. So now we're going to wait till what, next, the thir 12, 13, somewhere. And then I should have another set of butterflies. Um, so there's there's Naya. There's little Naya. Uh, so I have, and Bruce was the original one that looks, I, I have a video that I, I want to upload to show you me releasing it. It's just, it showed the, the, the two dots. That's what I wanted to keep it. Look for for berries. Wait, I think my daughter has milkweed or elderberry at her new home. I can't tell the difference. Really? This is milkweed. That's what milkweed looks like. So you said, I think my daughter has milkweed or elderberry. Elderberry, I don't think looks anything like milkweed um, at all. But see, and it'll have the pink flowers. It's all the same. They all look the same no matter where you have them. This common milkweed. If you have different perennial milkweeds, that's different. But the common milkweed looks big leaves, pink flowers when it starts to flower. Um, and this is the main one that I'm talking about that's grown all over. Everywhere has this particular milkweed. Have you seen a lot of butterflies? What kind of butterflies, though? It's good if you've seen a lot of butterflies, but what kind? And my gardens work. I think it might be elevated then. Yeah, they only look like this, Mish. Um, so it, it probably is elderberry. Let me, I don't know what an elderberry bush looks like. Let's see. You know me. I'll go ch check it out until I get kicked off of here. So, um, elderberry bush image. Let's see what it looks like. So we can check out the leaves. That's how you're going to know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's, the leaves are a lot. They That could look similar to a perennial that was, um, there is perennials that look tinier leaves that are uh, milkweed, but not, that's not what I'm talking about. But it looks like it grows white flowers. American el elderberry. Let's see. I got a picture here because you can see the leaves. It looks totally different. These are huge leaves on common milkweed or really big leaves. These are a lot smaller. All right. Did I save it? So let's see. Save image. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna go grab it if I can. Let's go down here. Uh, da -da -da. So far, I'm still here and I'm hanging in there. All right. Do too much, too much stuff on here. It just does not like it. So I'm not going to do too much stuff on here. I'm just going to pick up your elderberry bush. And so you can see the leaves are a lot smaller. It looks like they have white flowers. And I know that Dave, you know, um, he gets some. Like that. Let's see. Can you see that? Yellow, blue, and orange. Um... Oh, yellow, blue, blue, and orange monarchs. Cool. Blue and orange monarchs. That does. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no blue and orange monarchs. But, uh. Because monarchs are kind of. Hey! Hey, Andy T. Show. Hello, honey. How you doing? So there's the. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so what, how long have I been on for? I'm doing pretty good. I didn't get kicked off 16 minutes. We're good. So, yeah. This is the newest edition. There's your elderberry bush, which looks nothing. It, the leaves look similar to ones I did before. Surviving the day. Oh, cool. So there's my newest one. I'll go back to Christine and Larry. Hey. I'll let that run for a bit, probably until I get off, because I just don't know how long I'm, I'm going to be before I crash. 
All right, and then I got I got my sister One, Nikki that two, passed away. These are the three, three people that passed away in my life. Nikki, this was my my nephew, oh, his mother Nikki, and my brother-in-law Dan. So I'm doing three more butterflies, and the rest is going to be stages, given to right. the people that come first. Joyce, come into my channel when I when they're born and I live stream. I found an odd here. beetle. Not sure what it is yet. You oh no, you get it. Right we have to to examine that no, stuff right after now. MT. We will. Uh, I'll do some live streams on stuff because there's something stuff that's right bugging me too about we my do. garden, and I gotta work okay, with so. it for next year. I want to know what it is exactly, and there might be somebody to know. It's either it caused like a rust thing. It's either a virus or a bugs doing it, or we had too much rain, and too much rain Those will give you um, funguses and stuff. Too much rain, so I don't know because I got these funguses that seem to affect some of my my vine plants. <clears throat> also the milkweed too it's the milkweed gets affected by this stuff if i showed you the back of it but i have caught in these little eggs i know they're orange little things and i kind of squish them to death and i kill the, the eggs on the milkweed because i know that that's a, a a bug that's not good for the plants so i kill them off because they're not good my aunt has that on her tree So there's different, I found an odd beetle. So yeah, I, I like you guys, if there's something you ever want to, um, like I said, I've said tons of times, if you ever have a picture or some kind of thing, bug or some kind of thing, we should bring it here. And if I don't know what it is, maybe somebody else will at least know, you know, thank goodness uh, by helping people, okay. talking to people here mm -hmm. or, or I kind of do things. I learned a lot of things this year. Oh my God, the nuts is a whole thing. I already explained it to you what I did to solve part of my issue. It's not totally gone. And I think the one spray might work because I didn't give it enough chance. But I actually, though the spots, okay. I actually, this is how I do it. I dump the soil out. I rinse the no, roots right of the now. plant out. I rinse and clean the and container out, disinfect it. Right put now. brand new soil that's dry. Okay, uh, oh, well, yeah. I'll send you pictures. Uh, okay. I don't know if I can put it up today, but you remind me and I'll, I'll show them. See if that's what we're talking about. I mean, I would try, but I don't know the way my internet. Well, it says it's better now, so I don't know. Maybe we could try. You send it to me through whatever. Tell me, and I'll, I'll give it a shot to see if I can pull it up on the screen. So, anyways, uh, the knots have been solved by just basically dumping the dirt outside and get rid of it totally. Rinse it, container, rinse plant, put brand new soil that's dried, and there's no fungus or no, no bugs inside, and it worked. No, well, if you want, I, I'm still here. It says I have excellent condition connection right now, so we'll see. I'll, I'll send the picture of the beetle. I saved it. it was dead, but I'm going to preserve it. And ooh, gross, but okay. All right, empty. It sounds like nasty, but I mean, people do do that, put bugs and stuff. But ugh, ugh. All right. Ugh. All right. She says you sent me a let, let me hit it right now. Okay. Let's go get you. Uh, let me see. Yeah. One, two. Oh, all right. Three. Interesting. There's a spider mm. in here. Oh, we get that no, spider up first. I remember there. how to do this. Okay. Save. Can I save it? Look at those yeah. different stages. From those are. I have something similar to that too. To roll. And I, I we'll okay, look at that, but here. it doesn't show any sign of right. bug. But I'm going to bring it up here on the screen right and we'll see. Yeah. No, as right now. As long as I can s save it like I was doing here. I want to see how it's crawling picture. around to my stuff right now. Is that the same one? Right there. They look both good, so okay, if I so take one, it should be fine. Let me see if I can get it. Let's see if it went to my, uh, did I pull it on my computer? Hmm, let's see. I don't know where it goes. All right, looks like I got them. Let's see. I'm going to pull it out and see what we think. And there's Kristen. There he I don't know, it doesn't look like, it's hard to see, here's a good one though, this one picture's good, let's see, I'm going to just blow up the leaf part of it, and they got, that's not what I have, like, those are particular circles on them. That's different than I have. Mine's kind of rusted 
spots is different than this. I don't know what that is. That is definitely, because you don't see any bug, but it probably is. That could be eggs being laid. I don't know. If anybody recognizes that, uh, shout it out. Hi, David. I am good, David. Thank you for joining me. So there it is. Uh, this is the best one. I'm going to just put this one up, Mish. And if anybody recognizes these, uh, that's a maple leaf. I can recognize the, the tree, but I don't, the spots on it. I don't know. Anybody? Anybody got a guess of that? Is it an egg that's laid on there? And it's a maple tree. Hey, Belle. Uh, butterfly have a powder on their wings. Yes, they do. They, it's actually poisonous. Um, and hi, Belle. How you doing? So any what's whatever that is. Just want to know. Anybody recognize that? This is a maple tree. And if you recognize anything um, on there. Do like you recognize that a bug did this, or is it a fungus? Anybody know? I'm not sure. I don't know what to call I can't call it. I have no idea what this is. But I, I'm glad you brought it up, Misha, and we should ask. And if anybody knows it, I'll throw it out there. And anybody, if somebody rewatches this video, this is not for people on my channel right now, but anybody rewatching it, um, hear me out. If you recognize this, whatever this thing is for on here, please leave a comment if you recognize what that is. Yeah, I'm thinking it could be a fungus. Yeah, can't be, can't lie, live without my. Well, thanks, David. I appreciate that. So, um, yeah, it could be a fungus. I know, Bill. I think, I'm thinking it could. If it, if you have a lot of rain, that's what causes fungus. But anyways, yeah. So if you do me a favor and if you, you recognize it, please leave a comment so we can check it out and um, get it back to Misha or whatever. If anybody knows. And I think, I feel it's a fungus too, but the way the circles are, I almost, it's just weird how the circles are on it. Um, I don't know. I have to take pictures. Yeah, me too. We all think it's a fungus. And the fungus is called, if you had too much rain, I'll tell you that much. Too much rain causes a, a fungus. It causes a couple types of funguses, but did she have a lot of rain, Mish? Did it rain a lot? Because if it rains a lot and, and it doesn't dry up enough with the sun and everything, you definitely get a fungus from that. 100% you will. So, uh, I don't know if that's it's helpful, but that's what we think. I guess the three of us think it's a fungus. Okay, yeah, MTC. I feel you're right. I feel Bill and you, MT. I think we're all in agreement. So to me, it's a, a fungus, and a lot of funguses are called. If it, if it rains too much, you will get fungus from it. I get it from on my rose bushes. I get a white fungus on... Um, honeysuckle and I get a white fungus on rose but since I sprayed it with the neem oil last year you know my roses look spectacular I'm not having an issue this year with them they look really good honeysuckle still look, doesn't look too good but yeah yeah so she would have so much moisture that that's what yeah if she it's rains a lot and if she's in a um, high humidity area or whatever where she's getting a lot of moisture that that fungus is formed from just a lot of water that does it a lot so to me that makes total sense and um to, to treat the fungus well she'll have to look into that but um neem oil was really good with me though i'm just telling you i had a white fungus on the rose bushes and for years i kept treating it to try to figure out how i could fix the rose bush I sprayed it twice last year with neem oil, and it did the trick. It's, it looks good this year. Now, I did the same thing to the honeysuckle, and it still looks bad. The honeysuckle doesn't look good at all still. It still it starts to go really good. I cut it all the way down. It looks really nice. And then as it starts to grow, then the fungus comes back to it. So I don't know. I'm going to figure this out because I have to do my tree this fall and summer, my peach tree, um, to get the leaf curl, which I learned this year through actually just Mike told me that and then I started looking into it and I said yep that's what it is so hey I appreciate everybody I appreciate the spreading whatever you know whether it's right or wrong or whatever like you think just say I think this might be it and it's helpful all this stuff it, it helps me and it helps me to explain what I see for my stuff and if it, I help you that's fantastic because leaf curl is not that is notorious on peach trees by the way so if you're going to grow a peach tree you gotta, you're gonna, I have to get a fungicide for that. Um, and it's supposed to be a copper fungicide, which I'm still looking for at a reasonable price because I found some, but it was extremely expensive. So I'm gonna spray it. You gotta spray it in the fall and then you spray it in the spring. 
and we'll see. But the peaches are doing great. They have a little bit of a bug. You think it is, Bill? I think so, too. I think we all agree on that that's what it is, a type of fungus from all the water and everything like that. And trust me, I'll try to get more into this because I need to know it for myself. Um, exactly the different funguses and stuff on it. It's probably, and how we can, I mean, I can't prevent it, but how you can help with it. Because if you've seen the damage some of this stuff causes. But I'm going to tell you this, the minute you see something wrong with leaves or something, start pulling them off. There is beetles that go after stuff and lay eggs and then it damages your whole crop. So my only choice, what I do is I actually pull the bad leaves off. Wasp bite spill. Hey, Mike. Um, if, if that's what I would do. I know it's a big tree. You can't pull it all off. But let's say that you had a tree that was small um, or even plants. You know, I always pull the bad stuff off i do i literally if i see a fungus that's on one of the, the branches before it starts getting infested and does the whole thing i pull them off as fast as i can and uh, it either it's going to die or it's going to be saved so my cucumbers are like that too um our peach tree were bad they have to be made yep bill you got you, you need a fungicide and uh mike was the one here he is hi mike i didn't know you were going to be hiding in the background but um, you get the shout out, Mike, because you're the one who made me aware of leaf curl on my peach tree, and it, it is what that is. That wasp got me. A wasp got you? So, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to be looking into my fungicide to fix the peach tree, but the peaches look good. The only thing is, the birds are eating them all crazy. Plus, they are have some kind of spider. Something's going into them. So I have some kind of thing in some of them. I think I might be able to save some peaches. I had tons. And a lot of them were gone because the squirrel climbed the tree. And, and every day they test it out to see if it's ready yet. So I've lost a lot of peaches. But there's still, thank God, some peaches on there. And I'm hoping to have enough that I can can peaches. But I don't know yet. Um, they're not still ready. I don't know when they were, uh, a while back, I think that was what Mike means. Uh, a while back, I think that's what Mike means. You're talking about wasp? Be a distributor for Nemo while I can buy some. You're so, David, you are funny. Um, I promote that, though. I think it's good stuff. I don't think it solves everything, Nemo oil, but I think it's good stuff. I'm going to my daughter's to clean the carpet now. Have a blessed day. You too, Mish. Thank you for joining me. Thanks very much. I appreciate this. I, be, I appreciate you coming and join me. And you have a good day with your daughter. Because I got to get doing stuff in a little bit too. I'm going to go. I, I did most of my yard. I got my backyard. But I go behind the fence. And I got to pull any new vegetables. I have tons of tomatoes. I already made a spaghetti sauce with the tomatoes I grew. Um, and I have more. I, have, I pull them to... to I, I learned this. If you pull the stuff ahead before it's red, you have a chance of saving a lot of stuff <laughs> like tomatoes and that before the animals eat it all. Hi. Uh, Trixie says, hi. See you soon. And bye-bye, Mikey. Anyway, so, yeah, have a good one, Mish. Um, I'll be seeing you soon. I'm trying to get organized for something, but I can't do it today. I, well, I, I, you need Jersey tomatoes. I could have, I could take any kind of tomato and try it out. I love doing videos and filming all that stuff on it. Well, you, you got to see it. So there you go. Keep missing your lives. Well, thank you, Trixie, for coming. And you admit you didn't miss it this time. Uh, you have no carpet to clean. Yay. I don't blame you, David. I got, a, I got back and have a jungle growing. Oh, I bet. Oh my God, if I left empty, either things would be all dead or I would have tons of stuff. Trust me, tons of weeds. The weeds would be crazy. But so, you know what? I'm really happy. I was trying to pick out what I'm so happy this year. And and I have so many things that grew so well that, it, and some didn't do that so well. Not like the bags. I'm not impressed with the grow bags. I'll tell you that much. But I'm impressed with my thorn berries. I kept talking about those. I got a lot of thorn berries. That was really worked out well for me. And I'm kind of looking forward to these potatoes to see if in the end um, I get potatoes. I, I'm actually going to, I probably do a quick video on that one because I want to see um, when they're ready if how many potatoes. I even got like, I even bought like from the dollar store a potato sack just 
wishful thinking that I end up with a bag full of potatoes. <laughs> I have no idea, but we're going to find out because I know I'm going to mend the soil for the potatoes next year. And I'm definitely not using hay. Uh, if I do, just very little to keep the moisture in, but a little, not a lot. So uh, that's what I learned on that one. Tomatoes are doing okay, but they still have some black spots. So I think, I believe I'm going to have to put more um, calcium in there for the tomatoes. And the other section, the little tomatoes are doing amazing. I have the teaspoon tomatoes. I got tons of those. Sweet potatoes, yep. Um, I tried doing that, and I got to do another video on it again because I did it. I did a whole video, and that's a whole story years ago, and I lost all that stuff. But I like to at least do one video. I still grow the same stuff that I have videos on, but I like... I like doing new videos on new stuff to see how it grows, like flowers. I got flowers that I did, some new vegetables. Um, oh, oh, that those things are crazy. Rose, that's why I don't even want one. I know how bad they are. I've had them, and my neighbor has one, and they're so out of control that it's crazy. It's kind of like morning glory. Rosa Sharon is as bad, almost. Not quite as bad as morning glory, but... It's like when it goes, it starts to root under the ground and pops all over the place, and it's freaking hard to get rid of. So I don't want one of those because unless, well, you have to control it. That's the best you can do. Um, yeah, growing up from the, the sidewalk, I, I, they get crazy. Rosa Sharon and Morning Lore, those two I really don't want to have in any of my gardens. I know how bad they are. Uh, maybe in a pot. That's it. I, I maybe I take a Rosa Sharon maybe in a pot, but I don't know if it's going to like a pot. That would look cool in a pot, but otherwise, uh, never in the ground for me. And I just have some, I have a poppy that I grew. Ooh, the poppy is beautiful. I have to give it that much. They're very hard to grow. It's the supreme poppy I said I was going to grow. It's a gorgeous looking flower. Unfortunately, it's really, really hard to, um, to propagate, like to seed. It's really hard. You only, I put it in the ground. I didn't get any. And I put it in a container, and I got about three, and, and they died. I only got one. And once you get it going, they're gorgeous plants. Gorgeous plants. All right, there's my, uh, might as well go back to my little baby butterflies here. Right. That's why I'm on here live streaming. Show you the different stages. Okay. What are we talking You said, yes, the are. Poppies yeah. are? One, I have this beautiful two, poppy. that It's it's three. called this uh Poppy Supreme here. Supreme Poppy, and it's just we'll gorgeous. Need a spider outburst there. But they're so freaking hard to, to, to grow, and I am doing a video on it because I'm going to show you how pretty it is. Um, so we're talking about poppies. Yeah, poppies. Are, I'm told they don't like to be moved, which is probably correct. They don't like to be moved. But no, right they, now you're supposed to put them in the ground, but then they're really hard. Well, I, I put them in the ground, and not one. Right no, I didn't get one poppy. Right there. Not one from putting it in the ground. That was my experiment this year. I put them in the container. I didn't get them all, but I got three. And then they're really weak. They take a long time to actually strengthen and get bigger. And then once you, they get There's bigger and they turn into a plant, they're beautiful. They're, this plant is gorgeous. You just have to get it to where it becomes a strong enough plant and, and then put it outside. So I'll probably do, I might grow some more of those. And there's a couple other ones that I want to do this year too. Well, I, no, I didn't have a field. Wait until you see it, Bill. I have one plant. It's beautiful. And it doesn't look like the typical poppy. It's not like where there one stems like you're picturing. Where I've, I've seen like white poppies and normal poppies. Uh, this is a, a beautiful pink fluffy flower. which And it kind of buds out and has a whole bunch of buds. It, it's not, it doesn't look like a normal poppy. But it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If I can get the seeds from this. I would, I would love to, but I don't know if that's going to happen. And then I had, um, what's another one I want to grow? I, I, I threw it in the ground to see if I could get it growing, and now I'm going to do a video on them. Uh, they, this one's pink. They yeah. poppies come in all kinds one, of colors. Two, you got three. the red one is the normal we one. We're actually in here. You know, we're talking about well, we're get where they make powder out of this, and it's illegal, and all the drugs come from that, that flower, we'll not that kind of poppy. From it's a different. Different variety. There's tons of varieties of poppies. And then we have some down here. Which are tons of varieties of many things. Can you get that spider I'm trying to find a you? seed of, yeah, same with marigolds. No, I'm right trying now. to find a pink marigold and I can't find that. I don't want anything. I have, I have, I have stuff right now. seeds from normal marigold, right French marigold, okay, and so. I bought um, Cracker Jack marigold, which is still gold, 
which that's not the one I wanted. But anyways, um, this is a new one this year for me. And I haven't seen the blooms. I don't know what it's going to look like. So it's going to be cool. Yeah, look look in the cage. There's some of my flowers right there. Yeah, the seeds are really small. That's my flowers right there. The, the, there's the marigolds. There's roses in there. There's um, for, forget-me-nots are in there. That stem is a forget-me-not. These are all plants that I grew. So the tall marigold, forget-me-not. I don't know. There's zinnias in there. I just throw a bunch of flowers for um, the butterflies in this one until I get them all. They're all strong and all. Like the two today might be released tomorrow. I, as long as they're, they look in good shape and their wings are good and they're strong, then they'll probably be released tomorrow. So they look good. As you can see, they look good. Their wings look really good. They just have to dry them out first. And then I let them go and they fly like crazy. Oh, is that right? Years ago, you would win a prize if you grew. I, I'm white mirror. I like to get all the marigolds, Bill. Okay. I can only find online yeah. the Cracker Jack one, marigold is the only one Three. that I could find. I know there's pink the marigolds in different in colors, and I can't find any seeds well, we'll that for person. them um, because I love them. They grow crazy for me. They grow really good for me. I have them all over the earth now. I, I have them along the back section. I have them some in the butterfly area. And you get some, that spider out you know, right they're there? just all over. I have a plant sitting no, in my right backyard. Now. I moved some today, and then they they, they, weed, around they grow like grow right like now. weeds for me. Where they grow it? really well, right so there. I'm okay, I'm uh, trying to get some more. And there's a oh, what's a flower? A Cosmo. Have you ever heard of a Cosmo? That's what I grew, and unfortunately, the deer ate the heads off of them. But Cosmos are another one that next year I want to grow. Right they are beautiful. Off. It's an annual flower, Cosmos, but they grow. If you yeah, get them growing, you can have them all the way from June all the way to October. Right. So blooming all all summer long. So that's Cosmos 1. And then I'm working on, um, hey, Crystal. Um, no, oh, you never heard of a Cosmo before? And then there's, what's the other one? Chrysanthemums that I tried. I have two small ones. They probably won't see anything. It'll be too late by the time they come up because they're annuals too. Trust me, I'm growing food, and I'm going to be doing more stuff on food next year, but I'm still doing flowers. I find they're fascinating, and they connect to my garden for the butterflies, and the butterflies love them. Um, Forget-me-nots is one I grew as a kid, and I forgot all about it. My family used to grow them, and so I grew it. I didn't even realize what they looked like, honestly, and it surprised me how they grew because I didn't know they were like that, but I'm happy with them. They, the Forget-me-nots, the, the uh, insects right. love them. The butterflies love yeah. them. The Bees One, like them, the, all kinds of smaller Please. animals absolutely go crazy for forget me nots. And the smell is really Look nice. Spider out and they are pretty. Okay. They're pretty once they grow. Look at like at first, it's right. all leaf. You just see a bunch of leaves, and I was like, okay, this is disappointing. And then when they start to get bigger oh, and bloom, they're actually here. really nice. And you get that spider Very pretty right blue. There. No, right now. You haven't seen any caterpillars on your plants yet? Around to my stuff what, right so now. you have milkweeds? Right there. Okay, I see them. I have African, vi I've grown African violets too. I actually took, I had them, I don't have them anymore in my house, but, and if I get a hold of one, I'd probably take one. Okay, like, I don't mind else. having it. I'm, it's like now when I had all this nuts, I had issues, I lost there. a lot of plants, but I saved one of everything so that I could do more this year and have more again. Like my original, I had to dump the original spider plant that I had. It was a baby, tiny, tiny, and it grew into a really amazing plant and gave me all kinds of um, spider plants. Well, this spray that I tried to kill with the gnats kind of killed that plant. But I have babies, so I got all the, the I try to keep every generation of, of plants that I had started in my house. That's, I don't want them to go. So African violet, I had them. Uh, they died off a long time ago. I even took African leaf and grew it, my own plants with them. So I know how to do African violets too, but I haven't had them. Their tendency is you got to watch it. You give them too much water or dry them out, they die really easy. Um, yeah, I have milkweed. Oh, do you have milkweed? Cool. Right. You got to look really strong on it, Crystal, um, for the eggs and that. Hey. Okay. How's it going? I love listening yeah. to the videos you tell in Chuck or Man. Oh, you're silly. Why don't you tell me that? You s uh, I love listening to the video you're telling Chuck or Man right now to get the spider. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you for letting me repeat that, but I don't care. 
Um, cause the spider will go, it's funny. The spider will go after them. That's why I'm afraid of, um, the spider being in there and I couldn't do it. I had the other butterflies, so I couldn't get it right away. So I, yeah, I sound a little bossy. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know I sound a little bossy I get it whatever that's me he's not afraid of me Tr trust me he gets bossy to me too that's our life and we're good with it but it's funny I keep on forgetting the sound I have nothing to hide anyways so I'm a little bossy he gets bossy we all get bossy anyways I'm leave thank you for you could have just said my sound was on but no you have to get into this whole thing and let's listen, listen to the video you tell it <laughs> anyways whatever it's all good um, so we got cliff in the building cliff says unacceptable unacceptable then we have crystal pets and plants so I get a little bossy now and then hey um, so that's funny. Thanks, Mike, though, for telling me better late than ever. That's so funny. <laughs> I just think it's life and funny. I just think it's life and funny. It is. We get. I get bossy. I'm not going to deny that. And, but then he does the same thing, too. He'll go, you know, go do that and bossy me and whatever. We're just loud-voiced people. But um, the point is we're there when we need each other, and that's what matters to me. Hey, there's a, another issue with another. Uh, you can see the black spot on there. That's another one. I had one and it, it turned out fine. But that crystal has a black spot on the side of it to the right top. You can't see it right now. I like this, so I'm just showing you the forms of it, right? Uh, light green crystal once it turns. See, there they are. Hey, how to garden. They're going to take, they're going to eat away their life. They eat, eat, eat. Then they're going to start climbing. And then they go to the top. And then they're going to form what, when it goes back. I, I, I don't let this repeat itself so I can talk to this because I really didn't talk through this too much. But this is the one I videotaped, what, an hour ago? Whatever, just before I came on, I kind of uploaded it. It's a pain in the butt, though, honestly. I, in order for me to turn it into a video so you can see it, I actually upload it to YouTube and put it on private. And then I got to... And then I got to download it to my computer. And then from the download, then I have to store it in and upload it to OBS. It's a, like a pain every time I do this, but um, it's okay. And just, <laughs> <that's awful. laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. That's only, If I ask my husband, he'd probably say no. It's possible. Uh, I don't think so. That's funny. Well, maybe I am. I don't know. Time lapse. All right, so there is um, Christine and Larry, and uh, there's Marigold. That's the one that has the issues on the bottom there. Okay, so let's go. I want to go back here and say it really fast before it loses, and I'm going to wash all these screens after I'm done. Okay, so watch. So you're talking about it climbs up to the top, and then in the second, it'll form that curl like it's you're seeing it, and it's going to make sure it's sturdy. Um, and I shake it a little bit so it comes see it'll come back to the head will come back to the, the bottom Make sure it's stuck on really good then within the same day It'll form that green crystallite then the green crystal eventually after so many days between 10 and 11 days It'll start turning a really dark black orange That's when you know it, it's ready to hatch the um, and I have a video on that one too The one hatching my I was so excited that he caught that on tape He was he he really is excited. I mean uh, he likes he's more involved with it this year because we have it in the garage and he watches everything and so I think he finds it really fascinating this year which is cool I mean so my bossing doesn't hurt his feelings he's tougher than that um let's see there's somewhere I wanted to show you that's not it that's the boy and a girl I, I Mike for you I wanted to show you that I finally officially that Bruce was a boy one you can't see the wings and were never open when I, I have a video that I when I released him that I didn't put up yet and you could fully see that he was a boy let's see I'm just trying to go through my stuff because there's what's this one this one's Peyton let's see oh that's when he was hatching wasn't it um poor guy reminds me of cleanse that movie there it is I think he catches he's showing you the two black ones I don't know if we caught it on film yet I know we did. We he brought it because he was really excited about showing me how it was hatching, and how black they get. Silence. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Reminds me of Clarice's. <laughs> Uh, I remind you of Clarice. Thank you. <laughs> uh, too funny. I think if I said that to my husband, I think he'd laugh. Let's see. These are older ones. <sighs> I want to Bruce, I think. Wait, pulled that out of the guy's mouth? Pulled that out of the guy's mouth? Okay, let me see what else. What do I got here? What's this one? Nope, that's the main one. Let's see, there's another one. There it is. That's Josh. That's how they're born. They go really black. And then he was so excited he caught that, which they look gross, actually, when they're coming out. It puts the lotion in the basket. It's so funny. So anyways, it goes black. And look at what it looks like. Um, just, he was so happy. We caught that a couple of days ago. And I think it's cool that he caught it. That we, when I was live streaming, he caught this being born, uh, Josh. And I think it's cool. It's a chrysalid, not a cocoon. But anyways, um, chrysalid's totally different than cocoon. Just to educate you on it. And I'm going to be doing that a lot. I'm going to say, no, it's not a cocoon. I must have told my husband a zillion times that it's not a cocoon. They're two different things. Chrysalid is, um, there's different butterflies girl's throat so I think this is cool though that he caught that's what it looks like after it comes out of the chrysalis so I had a whole bunch and then I was trying to clean out the cage but um, I like to close up of those I like to get close up of those yeah it's it's hard to catch it there are people that videotape that's that's it Chrysalis, and I think it's cool that he caught it. We're gonna try. We're, we got the camera outside. If he's gonna try to catch it again, better. But um, well, we didn't. This is the best I got for catching it coming out. He tried it. I don't. Uh, yeah, that's the best. I'm gonna look if I find other videos, but we're gonna do it. That's it. Pictures. So I think it's really cool. This is. Um, I got a lot accomplished this year, like having this many butterflies. Uh, really showed both of us, even my husband, were like really observing uh, the stuff. Like I said, he's really involved with it this year because I never had this many. He, he was never really involved too much, but now he's like kind of, you know, get help me with the milkweed, and we're he like he's he'll you know check up on them and say I think this was going to come out tomorrow, and it's cool. I'm really happy that he's involved with this. It's uh, it's nice, and he gets and he gets a connection of the butterfly garden. Uh, and fun playing with you. Uh, no problem. You too, Mike. Thanks, honey. Hey, uh, don't wait so long. I'll talk to you. Uh, I was thinking about you the other day, Mike, because we haven't talked. Um, people think he's my favorite, and I don't. I talked to him all the time, but I really haven't talked to him for a long time. So we have to get talking there later, Mike. Tell me how, what's going on with you guys. But you go help Dad out. Say I said hi to Dad, and uh, have a wonderful day. God bless. Be, be safe there, Mike. I'll talk to you soon. I tried, Bill. Yeah, that's what my husband wants to try to do, too. We're trying, but it's really, it happens that fast that uh, I don't have, I don't have a thing for time lapse. I don't have um, those cameras. I just have an old camera. That's all I work with, my camera that I've had for a while. Actually, that's not my old one because that one died, but I have, my daughter gave me another camera, and it, I can't do, do uh, time lapse with them, but I wish I could. I would, I would do this in a minute. I would do one. So I don't know if it's not going to happen. If it happens, if I can get it done, it's fine. But there's videos out there. I see time off. So that's what I'll say on that one. There's, there's other videos. Well, thank you for the likes, whoever gave it to me. Uh, all the likes. Thank you so much. I hope this helps. I'm also going to tell you that um, like, I, I won't be live streaming. The next time I live stream is the next time there's a butterfly born. And then... I'll get into the garden talk after all the, the butterflies are done. Then I'm going to start talking, coming on for live streams of gardening and getting my videos caught up. But um, this is what I'm kind of devoting my time to right now. These little babies and see how many I can get. And learning a lot. Every, I've learned a lot from the, this year. It's amazing what I've learned. I'm really happy so that for next year I'll be better on it. 
Oh, wow, you just got a new camera? That's fantastic. That is fantastic how to garden. We got to keep in touch. I definitely will uh, be back to gardening, but this is, like, for every year, this is my top priority. Come spring, uh, I raise them. Four years, next year will be fifth year I'll be doing this. I don't know how many I'm going to get, and I lucked in that I was given some. So I don't know, but I'm going to try to grow more milkweed. And there's a point where I would like them to... Um, Oh, Bill says, what kind of camera? There's there's a point where I'd like to uh, just let them be on their own. If I had enough milk, we got, I would just examine um, what goes on and let them do their thing. I wouldn't even bring them in. I wouldn't even do this anymore. If I had enough milkweed and I could observe there was enough uh, animals being done. Oh, little babies. So this is so so cool. I'm showing you guys this different stages right here. Stage one, the green. Stage two is that's going to take a few more days to hatch into a butterfly. And then there's one just ready to turn into a crystallite. It's good. You want common milkweed to grow. It's good for you to have it. Um, it's very good. But um, they have a lot. I grow milkweed for them every year. That's cool how to garden. I'm, I'm happy that you do that. That's fantastic. Once you get it in there and they grow, you just let it, it do its thing. You don't have to do much work after. Once it gets rooted in, then it, it, it's it's great. It has a big rooting system. It'll come out even stronger every year. You'll get more and more and more as the rooting system goes under the ground. It's very cool how it works. So that's, I need to move some. I One of the, the beds that I have, I don't want the milkweed there. I want it further up. So I have to move some milkweed to get it started up the line. So I'll have a whole bunch in the, the butterfly area. It is a weed, yep. Yeah. It's a weed. Uh-huh. It is a weed. And there's perennials you can buy. Um, but I haven't found ones that I like that are, I would consider healthy for them yet. But my neighbor has a couple. They die off and come back, and that's okay. As long as they die off and come back, a perennial that's a milkweed, then it doesn't have the parasite and it's healthy for them. It's fine. I don't mind that. But mine have some of them have issues with it. They will choke off your other plants. I'm not worried about that. That bill. I'm growing them because I want them. I'm I'm good with it. I can control milkweed, and I would rather. I want I want them. I want it all over the place. I want it in the fields and uh, a lot of it. It's a web camera, 1080, doesn't appear to have a name brand. Oh. Oh, wow. Interesting. So what new plants you got going on? Did you buy new plants? How to garden? You got new plants? I always find two of you, of my friends, you and uh, Bill, have plants that you're buying new trees that are tropical. You can have it because you're out in Florida, but we can't. He's out in a cold area, so he has to bring the plants in. But I find it really cool how you're growing different things. You know, I had um, grown from seed a lemon tree. It's over. got to be over two, three years old. It's not big at all. And it almost died with the sprays I used for uh, on it. Um, and uh, it, I put it out. I transplanted it with new, new dirt and rinsed it off and gave it new stuff. And put it in the sun it's looking amazing it's not big but i never want it to be a big tree anyways but it's not big but it's doing so much better now that i got it outside and i cleaned all the soil off of it uh have you considered making milkweed seed balms no that's what would that do is that what is that for no i have no idea what that's is that you're talking about for yourself because i wouldn't do something for myself the more you take the milkweed away from the butterflies, the less they, they eat a lot and there wouldn't be any food for them unless this is something else we're talking about, something feeding them. I think he's talking about from the seeds, right? Milkweed seed bombs because they, 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 they do, um, what's the word I want to look for? It's a big, um, I'm trying to think of the word, but it's a big pouch or whatever that has all the seeds in it. Um, can't think it's, I don't know why I'm lost for words. I haven't bought any new, but I am starting many seeds. 
Okay, so I haven't bought any new, but you're there. Oh, that's cool. So what's your latest, what's your in, uh, your interesting thing you're growing this year? Anything cool besides all the stuff you have already that's cool? Mm, let's see. Oh, I'm going to get ready to go. Um... I'm, I've been on here for an hour. I kind of do half an hour to an hour. So I hope you got... This is what I will leave you with this. Thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. I'm hanging in for a couple minutes, but um, I just want to say that I only have three more butterflies to name after. Hey, Will. And then I'll start naming pe the butterflies like I promised that I would start naming butterflies after people that come to my channel. So if one is born... Um, after the three, I have still Nikki, what do I have? Nikki, Christopher, and Dan, the next three butterflies. And then after that, um, first come, whoever comes in when I, one's born, you guys, it'll be named after you and released after your name, um, is my plan. I said I was going to do this last year and I, I am, I'm doing exactly what I said I was going to do. So you want a butterfly name? I know, Will, you told me if you come in first come. And you get one, you want to name it after my dog and cat. Your mom's outside? Oh, cool. So I missed you, Will. Hopefully, Mem T, are you still there? In the back, you've been pretty quiet there. I'm just checking up. If you left, that's okay, too. But um, just seeing who's here with me before I get off. Did you see I got new butterflies, Will? I got, this is the one, this was a live stream um, saying Christine and Larry. That's these butterflies and then the next three I do is Nikki Christopher and Dan and then after those then it's whoever comes in when I, they're born so I'm trying to get more uh, butterflies okay you take seeds and encase them in a soil ball you can can then drive around and throw them seed bombs so milk weeds can grow where you oh that's so cool I never heard of that I'm gonna have to try that I love it because I'm getting seeds now. I started lychee. Oh, lychee is different. That's, uh, I, I'm quite rare. I don't like that fruit, but I know what a lychee is for sure. Did you take it from the seed or did you buy seeds? Because you get the seeds in lychee when you buy them. Get lychee. Um, it's not my cup of tea, but I mean, it's a, a Chinese fruit. You take seeds and case them in soil balls. You can throw them. I want to. I'm going to try what you did said. So you take dirt and you you roll the seeds inside of them. I gotta. I'm going to write it down. Matter of fact, how to garden. I absolutely love that idea. Love it. Love it. Love it. So you called. They're called seed seed bombs. I'm going to look it up after seed bombs. So and you encase them in soil. Um, I'm definitely going to look this up. I think this is very cool. And I might throw these bombs all over my area. Um, instead of wasting the seeds, it sounds cool. I want to see if it takes. So I'm gonna. If somebody has uh, a video on it, I'll check it out and see if what that's like. Yes, always a meow. Uh, always a meow. So let's say we welcome Bruce and Naya, Peyton, Josh, Gary, Christine, and Larry, and we have marigolds uh, in my. I have to I have to keep her alive and raise her and because of her wings. So we have Marigold too. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven will be released probably by tomorrow. One still there, so that's eight I've done. Butterflies and we keep going. Oh, Living Miracle Homestead has a lychee tree and gave me lots of seed. That's wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Uh, I I love, I like it. I want a connection with people too. I'd like to have some interesting seeds sent to me that I could grow. Oh, I don't know what's something. There's sound effects going on. I give seed bombs to the RV community to throw as they try. I love it. Good for you there, How to Garden. I think that's fantastic. I love how, so there is, should be a recipe on how to make it, right? Like you just roll it in dirt. If I don't find a recipe, I'm going to have to ask you. 
but I'm gonna try to find it sounds like you just take the seeds roll them in dirt because they're very sticky uh, the seeds are very sticky until they dry because they're stuck to the milkweed and extremely sticky but um, sounds like cool Sounds like a really good idea, actually. Very good idea. Okay, I'm going to see what it's... Um... All right, looks like I'm ready to rock and roll and get off here. So, guys, I'm ready to get off. Thank you for coming, and I will be on here the next time the butterfly is born. I'll be back. So... Um, thank you so much again. Uh, let me get them born, and we're going to get some more out from under releasing under your names under my channel. Thanks very much, guys. Have a wonderful day. God bless. I'll see you soon. Oh, dailies are beautiful. 98 degrees. Wow, it's hot. I love dailies. I talk about them. That's new to my new that I want to start growing this year. I got some dahlias. Well, it's not going to hurt if you want to make one, go for it. Um, but I will check on it. No, Bill, you got to be here. That's how I name them. You got first come when I when they're hatched, and if you're here, the first person in my live stream can have it named after them. After I release the three, you have to be here. I don't just, I, I that's how I set it up. So if you're in my channel and you're the first one the day it's born, and I do a live stream, you will have one in your name. Absolutely. Have a great, yeah, have a good one. Thank you, How to Garden. Um, sounds good. Bill, please come whenever you can. If you ain't come all the time, it's fine. But just try to, as soon as you see a live stream to do with butterflies, just head in and, and see what happens. But I, like I said, I have three more. Nikki, Christopher, and Dan. And then the rest are open to, to you guys. So, and, and to be fair, that's why I did it. I don't even, I have friends on here and I'm not, part of the deal is that I, to be fair, I would, I, they have to come here. So that's kind of what I'm doing. So hopefully I'll see you all, and uh, you'll come back, and we'll name one after you and release it. So anyways, have a wonderful day. I've been on for an hour, so that's plenty long. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you later next time. God bless.